everybody, it's Dean DeCosta, the Search Authority, and we are looking at a tool called Lamper. L-A-M-P-Y-R-E, so it might be Lampier, who knows. Anyway, um, this is an OSINT tool. It's for OSINT investigations. Uh, it allows you to gather all your data in one place to create a good, uh, nice, tight uh, presentation of how your investigation went. It, there's desktop, there is um, the, the web base. Now, the part that I'm going to show you, because I think this is the easiest part for you all to understand, is the part right here where it says email and phone lookup. As you can see, I've already done a couple. Um, you get some free. You got to pay for some. It's actually not that expensive. Um, but I'm going to do my Hotmail as an example. And I'm going to open that up. Uh, and, and, and the reason why I chose to use it is because I don't have to use more credits. But look what it did. Just based on my email, it found all this information. So... It's not suspicious. It's good. So the email is good. It brought back. Look at these pictures. Now this person here uh, isn't related to me. Don't know him. My email just is probably sitting on his, sitting out there somewhere on him or something like that. But if you look at the rest, look at this. That's me. That's my Skype. Look at this. This is my Twitter, and everything. Look at this. This is my LinkedIn. This is my Facebook checker, which by the way has a boatload of emails. This is uh looks like it's part of the facebook checker but you see and you got all these different pictures so there's really three different pictures going to me did a pretty good job of figuring out who i am what i am and how i am and all you gotta do is put in and it works with phone numbers too so let's do the phone number thingy and see what happens um uh, and let's see is this the phone number one nope there's the phone number and look what it did it got me recruiting ideation blogs that's one of my blogs and it matched it up there finding what cannot be found i mean you know this is me it did good. It did what I needed to do. It validated who I am by phone number and by email and gave me a bunch of other places to go and try to find me at. Um, really, 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 really cool, simple, easy. Um, and what's cool about this fa Facebook checker thing, which I find interesting, is you got the original email here. But if you look at some of these others, you got this one, blah, 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 at yahoo.com. Well, if you know me and you know, you know, people are creatures of habit. If you look at my LinkedIn profile, there's like six different emails. Or if you find my webpage, there's six or seven different emails. You already know what this email is. The same thing with this one. You already know what this email is. The same thing with this one. This is my cell phone. You already know what it is. And the same thing with this. All it takes is a little common sense. So let's say star4343 at hotmail.com. Okay. S ends in a three. Probably star4343. But the question is, what is this .net? Well, something starts with C.net. If you look at the top 26 most used email domains out there, it can only be one, and that's Comcast.net. And guess what? That would be correct. So you can gain a lot. Anybody who knows me knows I use another one called Pro43, Comcast.net. So this is not hard to do to even with just nothing more than this but to figure out uh, what these other emails are. It's not as hard as you think. Plus, and I could be wrong about this. Now, I'm going to try something I don't normally do. I'm going to try searching just based on that. But what I'm going to do, and the reason I'm going to do this is because I know that most ones do not do good with that many with that many um, stars. Not to mention the fact you really don't need them. Uh, and, there, and we already know it's a net because I accidentally didn't grab it. And then let's see what we get. We get a bunch of them that have what we're looking for and and now it's just a matter of figuring out which one is an email and which one's not so what we can do is we can add the word email let's see what happens narrowed it down quite a bit and i'd be willing to bet you if we kept looking we'd be able to figure it i'm on here somewhere but so that's something you can do some little cross-referencing there's a lot of info here I mean, look at everything you're getting, and, and that's how simple it can be, and that's tracing an email or a phone number. And that's what I think Lamper can do for you uh, the most. Um, the the investigating part, unless you're a heavy-duty OSINT person, isn't going to help you not. But this part of it, this is really pretty cool. Now, let's look at the costing, because let's get real. We do, you know, when it comes down to it, we got a cost thing, so let's see if we can figure it out. Uh, might not be able to unless I'm logged out, so let me log out of my account, and now let's look at pricing. So, for nothing... You're going to get um, up to 100 table rows, two inputs, zero per month, one user, 100 photons, uh, one off for Lighthouse commercial requests. So that's work emails. So there you go. Um, I just signed up, so I probably won't get renewed until uh, next month. For 29 euros, which is about 31 bucks, you're going to get um, 1,000 photons. So that would be roughly 40 to 100 requests. It's not bad 
and so you got all this so it's pretty cool um yeah so here you go this is an osint tool guys and but the part i showed you is a lower level osint tool like a two or three on the list um but the investigative side moves it if you ever got into using it decide to learn about it once you go through the training that i've recommended on other videos uh and buying my book um probably level seven but long story short, there you go. Another tool that can help you out and do some good for you. Uh, name of the tools Lamp here. My name is Dean DaCosta, the Search of 30. May the source be with you.